Hi guys, this is Shiva Reddy. Welcome to Core Java Tutorials. In this session, I will explain variable types in Java. So, let us see what is meant by variable. So, variable is a name given to the memory location. Whenever you specify a variable, it is a representation of the memory address. How to declare a variable? Variable, variable we are going to declare like data type and then we are going to provide the variable name. Data type specifies what type of data it can accept and what is the range of value it can accept for that variable. So variable name is nothing but the memory representation of the address of the memory uh, in the um, address of the memory simple. So in Java variable uh, categorized into three types one is local variables instance variables and next one is the static or class variables let us talk about the local variables local variables these variables are defined within a block or in a constructor constructor or in the method so the scope of the variable is going to be like within the block or the constructor or method whenever you declare a local variable in one of these uh, three uh, choices the variable scope is bound to that particular scope if you are defined it in the method once control enters into the method and then exit the method the scope of the variable is going to be uh, destroyed Similar way, if you define any variable in the constructor, the scope is, is going to be only within the constructor. Even in the case of block also the same. Another uh, property is, whenever any you declare any local variables, by default, it does not provide any uh, initialization. It is your responsibility to initialize these local variables with the proper values. So I am going to explain this one with an example. So let us go ahead and see uh, how to use these local variables. The first thing is, if you see the employee class, I already created with the employee class with true properties. Let us forget about all these things at this point of time. Now I am going to explain uh, how to use local variables in the uh, class. So if I say, one second. So I am pro I am declaring a, a variable like integer uh, value. Okay. The first the first thing is whenever you declare an uh, local variables, you are going to provide the data type and you are going to provide the what is the variable name. But you are not going to specify any access specifies for the local variables. That is the one point. And when I'm trying to print this value of um, integer, it will compiler will give you an error by saying that local variable may not have been initialized. So if you want to use these local variables, you have to initialize with the some value. Okay. And next one is uh, when you declare a local variables, you do not provide any access specifiers also. Okay, and that is the another point. But and uh, if you want to specify like a value of 10, I am going to initialize with the 10. I am going to assigning. So when I assign value 10, it is going to accept. You do need you do not see any error. Okay, and if you De if you are declaring a variable and provide an assignment then it is called as a definition and also if you want to provide multiple uh, if you want to declare the multiple variables of the same type then you can spe specify like a input 1 equal to 20 and uh, input 2 equal to 30 so this is where you can declare multiple uh, variables uh, var variables of the same data type with a single line okay so these are the few properties of the uh, local variables 
and also another way is wherever you are declaring like a one particular variable within the scope of open and closed braces then the scope of the variable is bound to be within the space and also you can uh, declare these local variables in the constructor also so these are the three places where you can work with the local variables hope local uh, variable concept is clear now let us go ahead and see what is meant by instance variables so instance variables are defined outside of the method or the constructor or the block but within the class these are called as an instance variables instance variables basic uh, you can declare at the uh, while creating in a class and uh, while creating in a class you can specify instance variables using uh, access specifiers and a data type and what is the value okay now i am going to provide here two values that right? employee id and private string emp name i am providing a two uh, very uh, two member variables are the instance variables now i am going to define a constructor to initialize two two values while creating an object and then i am going to uh, provide a one method public void and uh, i am going to provide uh, display method to print these two uh, instance variables okay system dot out dot print ln emp id emp id concatenating emp name concatenating with the emp name okay so i am just uh, printing these two values then i explain further concept on the instance variables so the first one is for the instance variables we are going to provide the access specific we are going to declare with the access specifiers uh, if you don't provide it take here by default as a access specifier okay and uh, then we are providing a constructor to initialize two values and then displaying the value now i am going to pro i am going to uh, create a main method here and uh, public okay i am going to provide a main method here and i am creating an object employee emp equal to new employee at this point of time i don't create any constructor and uh, i am not using the user defined connect constructor and uh, i am trying to access this um, method emp dot display so if i specify emp dot display what will happen when i run this program you will see that e the whatever the variables we are defining here those are by default it will assign a default data type value to the variable if you see emp id it is zero it is assigned to zero and emp is designing to null okay the another property of the uh, another property of the instance variables is the jvm will going to provide by default data type values if you don't uh, if you don't assign any user defined values for that this is the another property and if you assign some values while creating an object then it will take those values and it will assign one not one and for example i am giving as a shiva sorry here i am giving as one not one and shiva so if i specify this way then the the it automatically update these values okay see one not one and shiva okay 
so this is the another uh, property of the instance variables so instance variables are bound to the instance how many objects you are going to create there will be a separate copy for the each instance so let us understand this concept in a diag diagrammatic way so let us consider what I am doing here is I am creating a two objects one is employee EMP equal to new employee of 101 comma Shiva and whenever I create a uh, uh, instance then in internally what happens internally it has a heap whatever the objects we are going to create those actually referring in the heap memory okay it will be in the heap Sorry. okay it will be in the heap now what uh, it will do is it is going to create a employee employee id equal to 101 and uh, employee name equal to Shiva so this is how internally it will work it will allocate some memory in the heap and uh, the instance variable reference like EMP it will be stored in the stack okay so it will be st stored in the stack and the stack is referring refer, uh, referring to the memory address which we are it created in the hash uh, heap memory okay for example here it is EMP right if you are defining here as a EMP then this is going to be representing the memory address here similarly when you create a another um, another um, object EMP employee equal to EMP2 then it will again one more stack variable it is going to be created uh, created another um, another another object in the memory and uh, this is going to be EMP ID equal to 102 and EMP name equal to ready let us consider now again it is going to be pointing to the uh, stack variable that is EMP2 now this is going to be referring to the this object like that how many objects you are going to create for that class those many objects will be created in the heap memory and the uh, references are maintained in the stack this is how it is going to be works internally hope instance variable concept is clear at high level whenever you declare an instance variables it needs to be outside of the method outside of the block inside the uh, class and second one is when you declare your instance variables you are going to provide an access specifiers while declaring an instance variables and the second one is and the third one is whenever you declare instance variables if you don't provide an, uh, any uh, initialization while declaring the value JVM automatically assign default values for that variable of its data type okay and the scope of the variable is going to be you, you can access this variable within the class anywhere except in the static okay you can access this variable in the constructor you can access it in the method or any initialization block it, the scope is going to be entire um, uh, within the class you can access anywhere okay based on the access specifier the scope of the uh, the modification or the scope of the variable is going to be changed with respect to the outer world so this is uh, the concept of instance variables 
and next one is static variables unlike instance variables static variables has the concept of only one copy exists for the class and how many instances you are going to create from the class those will be used same copy what I mean to say is from the di diagrammatical representation if I provide in the case of instance variables for each instance you create there will be a separate memory it is going to be created but in the case of static uh, variables there will be only one copy it is going to create and these values are stored in a memory called as in class area okay so static variable stores in class area and this will be only one copy is going to exist for all at the class level and how many objects you are going to create all these objects uses the same copy that means this object one will use this class uh, proper uh, static variable at the same time the class to uh, the object to also use the class for example employee has the company so this is going to be common across all the employee objects so I can declare as a company equal to for example Java tech Java tech for example this is the company name I am providing so company name is going to be same across all the objects so I can declare this uh, company as a static variable so that the company name company is going to be the single copy exists for the class and how many objects we are going to create from that class uses the same uh, same name hope static concept is clear in the next session I explain different uh, uses of the stat that means you can use static at the block level method level variable level and then class level I will explain that concept in detail so thanks for watching have a nice day